G'day! In today's video, I'm having a look at a HP X360 14-DY. Right now, we've got boot device not found hard disk. What this is probably going to mean is either one of two possible situations. One, the hard drive is wiggled loose and it's not connected. Two, the Windows installation has completely cracked it. Or three, the NVMe SSD has failed. And from there, we'll need to replace it and reinstall Windows. How can we tell what we need to do? Let's follow up what it says here, where we've got the option of going into system diagnostics by pressing F2. We'll do that. And then from there, we want to go into storage test, hard drive SSD, quick check. And as you can see, telling it to do a quick test, we have no drive installed or check the cable. So what we're gonna to have to do is open this up and from there, we'll see what we can find. I'm gonna press power, release, and then hit enter just to see if it'll wake back up, which it's not. So from here, I'll proceed. Flip it over. And these legs here should lift up. Sometimes they come off and snap, sometimes they come off in good condition. It's a pretty hit and miss on how well they come off. Depending on the age of it, yeah, a whole bunch of factors. This one's coming off in good condition. By good, I mean it's not really stretching, it's not snapping, and the adhesive is staying on the back of it. So I'll just put that out and out of the way for now. Next up, I need a four, small Phillips head screwdriver. And I'll let you know if any of these screws are in different length. But so far, these ones are all the same. I'm going to assume the front ones are probably going to be the same as well. Yep. So all five screws on this particular model of 14DY. Granted, this, this, all this information is applicable for other models of the 14, of the HP X360 Pavilion. Now I'm going to use a fat, flat pry tool to lift it up. Just enough to get that in, like so. And I should be able to slide around. No. Go, now we're getting somewhere. We can go. So now we're in. Yeah, I was going to assume we're going to have an NVMe drive. Bingo, over here. So, what I wanted to do first is disconnect the battery just to make sure I don't accidentally fry anything. So, if I zoom in here, your battery location may be slightly different, but I should be able to put a nail under here and pull back. Just walk it back. With that disconnected, basically we're reducing the chance of possibly frying anything. And just looking at this, I can already tell that this NVMe looks like it has just simply slid out. There's meant to be a screw at the end here. We're not seeing a screw. So if I take off this cover here, and you can see the drive just slid back just then. We're simply not connected. So this was a refurbished 14DY, and I literally had a video just yesterday with me complaining that refurbishing is corporate slang for second hand. As you see, I've just pushed that in, and it's connected up just fine. This has been running purely off the thermal, uh, the, the thermal pad that's down here, this little bit here. The friction of that and this cover over the top have held it in for quite some time. I'd say it's shifted around just slightly because the screw's missing, that it didn't actually connect. So let's say you were, were replacing the NVMe drive, you grab a different one, you would put it in, put the screw back in, you would install Windows on there. But in this particular instance, I'm almost dead certain that putting a screw here, putting it all back together, and putting the battery back on, we're going to be just fine. To install the NVMe is pretty straightforward. We push it in on a slight angle, and try and get it flat, push in, and we clicked. Put it down. Now I'm gonna find a screw to actually go in there.
There you go. That's now not going to fall out. With that in there, just kind of hooks back around. Okay, that to there. Now I can reconnect the battery. It just slides in, push in with your nail. Go, battery reconnected. Time to put the cover back on. Actually, while it's open, it's also probably worthwhile just to tightening up the screws on the hinge here. As they do wiggle loose over time. Some are worse than others. But you don't want any movement in that. Now from here, you should be right to push this back on. Let's say your NVMe drive was connected and you've just put your new one in. You'll have to use a Windows 10 or Windows 11 media creation tool installer, or Windows media installer, to be able to reinstall Windows 10 or Windows 11 back onto your laptop after you replace it with a new drive. Getting back your data may be tricky or possibly non-existent, especially with SSDs. But when they fail, they tend to lose everything, or at least that's what I tend to come across. Um, but anyway, in this particular laptop here that I'm working on, I reckon just simply putting that screw in that was missing, we should be all good to go. Now, put these back in. So far, so good. Put the covers back on. All those screws were of the same length, so there was no real concern there about them going in the right or wrong place. Your particular model you're working on may be slightly different. Uh, go. And same with down here. Just lined up. Go over it a couple of times. And we're looking good from there. Go. Open it up. Hit the power button. And from here, we should be finding an SSD. I'll try and get this going without showing the customer's personal data. It will take a little bit longer to boot up right now, mainly because of the battery being disconnected. So it is finding a few things for the first time, as it would have cleared the BIOS or the UEFI. Uh, taking a little while. Should be right though. Now, I just left the computer idling for about another 30 seconds off camera and we've just booted up into Windows just fine. So you might be lucky like this particular customer and the hard drive has just wiggled loose mainly because someone was lazy and didn't put an extra screw in which should have been there to begin with. Another story. But in this instance, reconnect the hard drive, away we go. You might be unlucky and you might have to completely replace and reinstall the SSD in your laptop. And that would be a very similar process to what I did there, except you're putting in a new part, and then you're, from there you'd be using a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installer USB to reinstall Windows on the PC, which makes it very difficult to make one of these if your computer's already broken. So you will need another computer or someone to help you out with making that. Anyway, this particular customer got lucky, and their machine is up and going relatively cheap and easily. Hopefully yours is like that. Anyway, bye.